These programs were developed not to handle simple equations like the sine of time and things like that, but to handle complex interacting dynamic systems. Now the essential thing about a dynamic system of course is change over time. And one way you can look at that quite simply is to say that if you have a rate of growth of some variable and you integrate that rate of growth and add it to the initial value, then you get the value of the variable now. That's basically an integral equation. So all these programs include an integration block, and here's ours. If I click on that block and drag it down to the palette, I've now got an integral input saying integrate the flow coming into this and give me a stock out the other side, and INT is the default name. Now if I right click on that and click edit, I can then change the name. Let's say I choose fish as my variable I'm going to take a look. And let's say we start with 100 fish. So I've now defined the stock of fish as 100 and I now to say okay what's the growth rate of fish and then integrate that growth rate multiplied by the current population and I'll get the number of fish in the system. Well let's say let's just click on a constant here, let's say a constant growth rate and I'll just call this F growth rate, I can be quite verbose here if I need to. Let's say it's a growth rate of uh, 0 0.5 which is 50 percent per annum. Now I now to multiply that by the current number of fish and integrate it to get the total number of fish. So if I come over here to the fish variable and right click again, you'll notice one of the options there is copy the variable. And I'll copy the entire integral block and fish, but just copy the variable fish. Click on that and I can now place that next to the growth rate. Now I need to multiply the growth rate by the current number of fish, integrate that, and I've got the actual fish at any point in time, so I need a multiply block. Bring that down, and now I want to graph the whole thing of course click on graph, bring that down. Now if I wire this all together, let's go for that, and now multiply the fish growth rate by the number of fish, integrate that, that'll give me the number of fish, and then I can then spot that and see what the numbers look like. I'll go back to stop the simulation again, start from zero, and off you go, simple exponential growth.